Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Project C1. Uh, today, as promised, we're going to be going through the interior plastics, we're going to be painting the body colour. So that's the plastics, things like the um, the cowl around the speedometer, around the rev counter, uh, the door handles, the vents, that sort of thing. So uh, let's get them taken off and I'll show you the paint that I've got and we'll get them cleaned and painted. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the cowling from behind the wheel over the top. Like We're going to paint this the silver bit, and we're going to paint this silver bit, and I'm going to take the door handles off, the vent surrounds, uh, the other door handle, and the other vent surround. Uh, we're going to take those off, uh, and you know what? I'm probably even going to do this as well, so we'll take that out as well. Uh, I did do a video on how to remove that previously, but um, yeah, let's get the required tools. Let's take these off, let's get them inside and cleaned up, and dry them, and uh, let's get ready for paint. All right then, so in order to remove the steering cowling, we first of all have to put the key in, turn the key just so we're on the, the ignition so we can move the wheel, and there's a screw either side. So I'm just gonna grab my screwdriver and we'll take that off. So I could have gone a little bit mentally, um, I've sort of taken everything off. Uh, down here we've got the radio and the cowl that I'm not actually going to paint, uh, but we've got the fascia, we've got the speedo surround, door handles, window switches, vents, um, speedo cowl, not speedo cowl, that's that one, the rev counter cowl, all that sort of good stuff. Um, probably taken more off than I should have done, but hey, it's off now, so let's paint it and see what happens. Okay, so I'm literally just going to take all the pieces, uh, all these sort of little bits and pieces, with a brush, and I'm going to use a kitchen sink and some dish soap. Uh, dish soap really is the best stuff to get these things clean, ready for paint. It, uh, it cleans it for a start, it, you can use the brush to get into all the texture surfaces, uh, it's really good for degreasing, that sort of thing. So um, yeah, let's get them washed, get them dried, and then uh, we'll take them upstairs and we'll paint them. Right then, so here's the paint that I'm going to use. Um, first and foremost, a uh, bit of an update. I've taken the um, interior lights around off because I thought I'm going to paint that as well. So I had a bit of a change of heart on what I'm actually going to do. Uh, I've given them a good scuff up with a red scotch pad and uh, degreased them all and they're all ready to paint. Uh, now the paint itself, um, I'm using the finest grey plastic primer from Half Roads. It's uh, 
the only really one I could get a short notice when I decided to do this job. Um, I'd already done some pre-planning, got myself a uh, can of red spray paint in the correct colour code. Um, that was 20 quid online I think. Uh, and it came with this as well, uh, a free can of lacquer. So, and it's a decent can, you know, the 500ml size of what looks to be a reasonably good lacquer. So, yeah, let's put these parts out and we'll get spraying. One hour later. Right, so I've turned the lights off um, and I've put the, the light on the camera so we can get some really good detail work. I just want to go in and have a quick look at the, the work that we've done so far. Just to see if it's dry, if it's nice and even, which it is looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's covered up 99% of all the scuffs. I mean, there are some little ones there, like the one in the middle. Um, but I think that was that was damaged before I uh, took it off the car anyway, so I'm not really too fussed by that. Um, like I said, it's only an aerosol job anyway. So, um, but yeah, it's looking quite dry. It's looking fairly smooth. In fact, it's looking like I might not even need to uh, to give it a quick sand between coats. Um, this one does look just a little bit wet, like in there, for example. Um, I've got a little bit of a run just there but again i'm not too fussed by that it's uh it's actually looking pretty good so yeah we'll give that five more minutes so that this bad boy dries and then uh, we'll give it a coat of red Okay, so we've put a, uh, a quick first coat on, a dust coat, uh, of the, the KJH red paint. Um, it's come out alright, I mean it's not too bad for a dust coat, I mean I have missed bits, but yeah, oh well, that's why we do multiple coats. Um, same story on most bits and pieces really. Um, yeah, so uh, it's time to get another coat on. You know what, I just realised I forgot to put my uh, respirator on for that one. Mm, my bad. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so here we are after two coats. Um, in general, across all the pieces, it's covered quite well. Um, there are a couple of spots. Uh, one just there. One just there. And one just there, where there's been a little bit of reaction. So what I might have to do is to sand those back uh, clean them, degrease them and repaint them. Uh, but in the meantime though, the rest of the bits and pieces uh, they seem to have painted and covered pretty well. I mean, I'm particularly proud of this. That's pretty good. And also the radio fascia. That has covered really, really well. I mean, the paint in there is still a little bit wet, but yeah, it's covered really, really well in general. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'll, uh, I'll just correct those little bits and pieces and then we'll go for clear coat. 
Right then, so that's three coats of the red. Uh, it's now 20 past eight at night, hence the, the very poor lighting. Um, but I'm gonna take the opportunity and I'm gonna put some clear coat on now that the red's dry uh, and let it dry overnight. So yeah, let's get that painted. Much, much, much later. Okay, so we're in day two now. Uh, we lost a lot of daylight yesterday. I decided that uh, it's probably just a good idea to let the paint cure overnight. So, hey, here we are today. A um, couple of quick things. First and foremost, as you can see, it's absolutely bouncing down outside. Um, but I'm happy to report that the passenger door, nice and dry. Um, that aside, though, it's now time to start replacing things like the cowlings, um, the dash fascia, the radio, all that sort of thing. Uh, and while everything was out, I've given all the um, the electrical contacts in the back of the radio, the switches, the uh, window switches, things like that, a good clean with some contact cleaner. So uh, yeah, let's get on with uh, putting everything back together again and see how it looks at the end. So everything's now reinstalled and I'm sure you'll agree with me that everything looks way better, way more coordinated with the rest of the car. I'm particularly proud of how that came out, that's really good. Um, yeah, it actually looks like it should have come from the factory now. Uh, the only problem really that I can foresee with this really is a little bit of orange peel, which I'm not too fussed about, but like for example, up here it's a bit orange peely, um, a little bit there, but as we follow that round it actually gets better on this side. I think that's where I've just been laying down the lacquer, but yeah, I'm dead happy with that. That looks really good. So that's all painted, that's put together again, and uh, I'm sure you'll agree with me, that looks really, really good. It, it looks like it should have come out of the factory that way. Um, it would have been nice if Citroen, Peugeot, Toyota, whatever, whoever it is that you've got, uh, actually did that and put some effort into the interior of the car, like they have done on uh, modern versions of the car, modern versions of the competitors of the car, that sort of thing. Um, they all look a little bit better inside, a little bit less dreary and drab. Um, but yeah, that's that's them all painted. The only things I didn't do are the heater controls and the um, temperature controls, you know, the two round ones on either side and the heater control in the middle. Uh, I'm going to do them gloss black when I do the rest of um, the interior and the exterior because I don't know whether you knew or not, I don't know whether I've explained, I can't remember, uh, but I'm going for a, a black and red theme, um, gloss of course. Uh, I do have some uh, wrap for the roof, that's coming in a different video um, when the weather behaves, uh, but in the meantime, uh, I hope you enjoyed that, I thought um, that was something that I wanted to do for a while, 
Uh, I want to improve my skills with painting and this is what Project C1's all about. It's it's for me to learn. Um, I hope you've learned something. I hope you've come along with me on that one. If you did, you know the drill. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. And uh, tune in for the next one.